Alrighty now. Oh, hello there. I'm Garrison. And you're not. And this is my iPod vlog number 314. 314 iPod vlogs. The date today is November 9th, 2016. And the president of the U.S. is... Bum, 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 Trump! Donald Trump! Donald John Trump. Donald J. Trump is president of the United States of America. Today is also... Chaos Never Dies Day. This is Wednesday, 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 hub day! And today I'm going to call this the President of the United States is, or the President of the U.S. is, dot, 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 Trump! Exclamation point. <gasps> bum, bum, bum! And also, Chaos Never Dies Day. Exclamation point. Today, on November 9th, 2016, which is Wednesday, my brothers, Philip, Mark, and myself, we went to Jimmy's Egg and had some breakfast. This is there. I had the Meat Lovers Omelette with the side of cinnamon, raisin bread, and fruit. And my brother Mark had some kind of omelet. I mean, not an omelet, but he had some kind of burrito. That one burrito with the white sauce on it, whatever. And a side of curly fries. My, br my brother Philip had some kind of breakfast sandwich, which is a burger with, with an egg on it or something. But it, it, he made it um, a little bit harder than... than and soft, whatever it is. And he had a side of curly fries too, I think. I don't know. I think that was it, yeah. And I got Sprite, and my brother Mark got root beer, and I think, or Dr. Pepper, and my brother Philip got Ch Diet Coke. So anyways, today, last night, or early this morning, I should say, I found out that the President of the United States is now Donald J. Trump. Donald John Trump. And his Vice President is Pence, Mike Pence, who was the former governor of Indiana, and of course Donald J. Trump is the former head of Miss Universe contest or whatever it was, and also the Apprentice TV show. Wow, I can't believe that. But anyways, today's November 9th, 2016, and still 2016, and still no private, no no secret backpacks, no private airplanes, no no super secret. Spaceships, or or everybody don't have a flying car, or or their own jetpacks, or their own miniature airplanes, or car planes. Hey, you remember that back in the old days when they used to say we're gonna make planes that convert to cars and cars convert to planes? You know, the wings for them and stuff. No Back to the Future crap either. No Star Wars technology. No Star Trek technology. No ancient aliens. No future aliens. No uh, aliens at all. No asteroids. Thankfully. The only incredible thing that happened is that Donald Trump proved that anybody can become president. You don't have to be a politician. Ooh, and it's been a long time since a non-partition uh, or a non-politician has become president of the United States of America. I need to get my teeth fixed. E I could get that one pulled out. That one is bugging me. And this one here. Uh, and then I could get these two capped and these cleaned and whatever and straightened. And then get that one pulled out right there. And then get a partial plate or, or implants. Yeah. And then pull that one out and get maybe an implant there. And then, and then, and then that's it. And get the rest of them clean and fixed and drilled and filled. And, and, and get these those middle fillings down there taken out. And put in some veneer fillings. And veneer the two front teeth too. Yeah. And veneer whatever teeth I can. And then drill and fill with, with veneer and fillings. Anyways. Now we know who won. Who won the presidency of the United States of America. Who won the presidency? 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 Who won it? Donald John Trump and his running mate, Pence. Mike Pence. Ooh, it was surprising too. Uh, what was really surprising was Trump won Pennsylvania. Uh, Hillary Clinton got, of course, uh, Washington State, Oregon State, and of. Uh, uh, California, of course, and then she got Nevada and New Mexico and some Rhode Island and some other states that are over in the north. And But she didn't get Pennsylvania because Donald Trump did. Ooh. So what's going to happen now? Will the Oompa Loompas come out? Will Willy Wonka come back? Is he retired still? <gasps> what about the boy? The boy that took over after Willy Wonka. <gasps> Ooh, the Magic Factory. Because now the Trump Olympus, Trump Olympus will come out. Oompa Loompas. <laughs> we got Trumpets now. 
Trumpets, trumpets, trumpets. <gasps> America is going to have trumpets over everything. Oh, Russia's happy and China's happy. But is America happy? He got about 50% of the, of the votes, of the popular vote, I think. I don't know if Hillary Clinton got the public vote or not, but Donald Trump got the most electoral votes. Yeah, and Hillary Clinton could get, get more than 218 because Donald Trump took some states from her, like Pennsylvania and part of Maine because it's plain, Maine split, and some like Michigan and some other ones that no one thought he would take. She didn't have enough electoral votes to win. So all the Hillary Clinton people saying, we will move to Canada if Trump wins. And right after Trump won, the Canadian Embassy's website or something crashed because millions of people from the United States were getting on it, trying to find out how to get to Canada. Ah, that means millions of people are actually going to go to Canada. Really? <laughs> Dummies? Why would you do that? We were, we're going to have to make America better. And how are we going to make America better again or make America great again or whatever? Let's make America great again. America can always improve. I don't know. I thought it was already great, but it'd get even greater. Yes. And that is what's going on. <gasps> Trump is president! I know. All the Hillary Clinton people are crying. They should play that song, Crying Over You. Crying. My brother Phillip's going to work right now. And he was just telling how Hillary Clinton people are crying about Trump winning. I mean, when 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 um, Obama won twice, I didn't cry. I didn't vote either. I registered to vote in 2007, but I never voted in 2008 or 2012 because I knew that, that um, Obama was going to win. I, I wasn't going to vote against him, and I wasn't going to vote for him, and there was no one else to vote for so I didn't vote. But this time, there was a vote. Trump, I was going to vote for Pence because Pence is why, why I voted for Trump and Trump's wife. It has nothing to do with Trump. But because of his wife, that'll bounce out his little feminine crap that he's got problems with women. His wife, Mel Melania Trump, yeah, she's gonna bounce that out because she's the first lady. <laughs> and and Pence, as as uh, vice president, he's gonna also be head of Senate. He and he'll bounce out anything crazy that Trump will try. That's not Republican or whatever, or not partisan or not for both parties. Anyways, the Republicans took over the Senate and the House of Representatives so that they have the presidency, vice presidency, the Senate, and House of Representatives. And of course, the, the pre vice president is head of the Senate. In case of a tie vote, he's the tiebreaker because uh, there's 100 senators, 20, two from each state. It's 50 states times two as 100 senators and 54 of them, I think, are Republican ones an independent and the rest are, are Democrats. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. And then there's a few hundred representatives, which a few representatives per state, depending on population. The more population you have in your state, the more representatives you have in your house. And there's a bunch of them. And most of them are 200 and some odd are, are uh, Republicans, and, the, and 100 and something odd is uh, Democrats. So I think it's 300 and something. I don't know how many people are in that. Too many people are in the uh, Congress. There should be uh, term limits because. Congress, Congress people, both senators and representatives can be elected over and over and over, over, over again for the rest of their life, as long as people keep electing them. And they should have term limits, like the president. The president can only be elected for two terms for four years each in the United States. Yeah, and the Supreme Court is missing a judge, and of course Trump's going to put a judge there, and the judge is there for life. And most, most people that are judges are there for 30 years or more, and that's a lifetime appointment, which is kind of weird because we shouldn't have dictators like that. Anyhow, it's a fascinating digital world, especially now that the president of the U.S. is Donald Trump! The president of the U.S. is Trump! Exclamation point! Today is chaos never dies day, and that proves it. Chaos never dies. The chaos theory proves that anything is possible because there's chaos in the universe. And people were chaotic because they didn't want to vote for some crazy Hillary Clinton. You know, any other woman would have been president, probably. First president of the United States, first woman president would have been somebody other than Hillary Clinton. I mean, any woman would have done, you know. I would have voted for Ron McDonald or Ron McDonald's wife, you know, if she was running, other than Hillary Clinton, you know, if I had a choice. But I just voted for Trump because of Pence and because of Melania, what Melania Trump said. And, yeah, 
That's it. Anyways, it's been a fascinating digital world. I'm glad you were in it with me, but I got to go. See you tomorrow for iPod Vlog number 315 where I talk about kids shows because it's the anniversary of, of Sesame Street because Sesame Street debuted on PBS in 1969 on November 10th. 1969, wow. Okay, that's tomorrow. And later on today, I'm going to do uh, the quiescent emo video on my main channel, Mr. Review, next time too. So if you want to know what I do, look under About and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, MySpace, Facebook, and so forth. Or look under Channels, Featured Channels, and also check out my playlist. Always check out the playlist and answer Mr. Blue Fuse two questions. What is funny? What is cringy? And also watch The Blue Wizard and his wise sayings. Three Steps and Never Weakens. Never Gets Weak. And I'll do some more later on next year after I stop doing these iPod vlogs. I'll just do an iPod vlog a week, I think, once a week. And then some skits every once in a while. Yeah, I think I'll start doing my iPod vlogs full screen next next year, maybe. Yeah, because there'll only be 52 of those, I think. Anyways, bye. In the vlog, in the vlog, in the vlog, in the vlog. Bye.